Good day, students. This is Dr. Howard coming to you again on uh, reviewing some of the concepts, especially to be, to have, nouns, prepositions. These four concepts seem to be used in everyday situations like going to work, going to study, uh, going to shop at a supermarket, or even driving to work. So we often use to be, to have, nouns, and preposition to make ideas or sentences. So I just want to review again so you can understand how to use them effectively. So repeat with me, to be, to have, nouns, prepositions. Now, some of you might heard what is a noun or what are nouns, what is a preposition or what are prepositions. So we need to have nouns in order to form our sentences. We need to have prepositions to connect the verb and the nouns together. So now, as you can see here, to be. Now, if is he, she, or it. Michael. Michael is he. He is a man. Lisa. Lisa is a lady. So because it's a lady, we say she. Now, in my hand, I have a marker. A marker is a thing. So because it's a thing, it is a noun. I'm using a noun. I'm using a noun. So because a marker is not a person, so, therefore, we say it. Now, if you have two markers, it would become they. Because one is singular noun, and two become plural nouns. Okay? So, one is it, two become they. Alright, now, so again, tell me if Tim is a he or a she? Tim. Tim. T E I M. If you say Tim, normally it's a he, then you are correct. What about Jennifer? Is Jennifer a he or a she? If you say Jennifer is a she, then you are correct. What about a cow? Moo. A cow is an animal that gives us milk. You drink milk to get taller. You drink milk to get calcium, to have stronger bones. Okay? So, um, cow. C O W. Cow. What is cow? He, she, or it? Alrighty. If you say cow is an it, you are correct. Now, so. I, I am Howard. So when you're talking about being you, you're talking about I. So I, I am talking to you. So I, okay? Now, I'm talking to you, so that's you. Now, again, if I have he and she, if I have Mrs. Pooh or Anne, Mrs. Susanna, Mrs. Tu and Mrs. Susanna. How many people are there? So if you say two, I have two people. People is a noun. If I have two people, then two people is they. So I'm talking to you, you're talking to me. So you and I together is called we. So if you have the present, the present. Present means every day, today. Is the present uh, every Monday, every Tuesday, every Friday, every month, every week? That's the present. The present talking about uh, our being present right now. Okay, present. Um, okay, so when we use to be for the present, he or she, you say is, I am, we, you are. So that's the present. That's for everyday routine. Every day you wake up, every day you go to sleep, this is the present that I'm talking about. 
Now, and then if you talk about the past, the past of the present for to be is was. If you change to am, I was. If you change to you, we, they, were. So that's the past of the present. Every day last year, I was. Every day this year, I am. Okay? Then you're talking about the future. The future of to be do not change across your different subjects. So will be, will be, will be. That's the future. Future is tomorrow. Future is next year. So future is something we do later in the future. So and now you can see to have, he, she, it, you say has. The past had. Future will have. For I, I have. Past had. Future will have. For you, we, they have. The past, I make a correction. The past here, we say had. Okay? The past is had, not have. The past is had. And the future will have. So as you can see here, for to have with I, you, we, we and they, they don't change. Okay? So that's the future. See? Present, past, future. Okay, now. So I have the first sentence here. Okay? Say after me. Duck is a father. What is a father? A father is a person like me, a man or he. This is a person who has children or child, a son or sons, a daughter or daughters. So duck is a name because it's a name, it's a noun. Father is a person. A person is a noun. Singular noun, singular noun. So, duck is a father because duck is alive. He is alive. Okay? He is alive. He is alive. That means you can see him. So, he is alive. So, because he is alive, I can see him every day. So we say, see here, we say present. Because duck is a he. So we say duck is a father. We change duck to he. So now, see, duck is a he. He is, he has. You see that? He has a family every day. So when we say every day, we're talking about the present. We're talking about the present. Okay? So now, let's try. Huang, which is a Vietnamese name, and this can be a male or female, but I know a student. His name is Huang, so I'm going to use he. So, Huang, a boss. He a business to run every day. To run. To run means he has to work. That's what to run. If you are a boss and you have a business or a restaurant, you have to work. You have to operate. So that means to run. It's not running. Run means to work in this situation. So I am is a male, so I change to he. So, every day, again, every day is present. Okay? Every day is present. So, what to be can you put here? What have can you put here? So, if you say when is, then you are correct because it's every day, it's the present. What form of to have can you put here? Remember, the subject pronoun is he. If you say has, then you 
you are correct. Okay? All right, now, you see right here? Huan is a name, so that's a noun. Boss is a person, is a noun. Singular noun, singular noun. Business, a business is an idea. An idea can be a noun, so business is a noun. So he has a business to run every day. Okay, so every day is, is, is the present. Okay, now let's go to sentence three. Hong can be a female or a male name in Vietnam. So Hong is a teacher. Hong is a she or he. In this situation, I'm using she. So Hong is a teacher because she is a teacher, she is alive. That means you can see her tomorrow, the next day, the next week, the next month, because she is, that is the present. Now, she has, she has, that's the present. She has a job every week, every day, every day, every week. Whenever you use the word every day, every week, is the present, okay? So, again, Hong is a noun, teacher is a noun, okay? Uh, okay, job is a noun, okay? So far, we have not touched on preposition yet, okay? So, now, let's try number four. Can you see what you can put the form of to be for number four? So, to is a name in Vietnamese. To, a worker. I'm a teacher. I'm uh, an advisor. So, because I'm an advisor, I'm a worker. I work for somebody. Well, because I'm, I am a worker, so therefore I am an employee. Employee. Okay? I am an employee. So, okay? So, now, worker is a person. Employee is a person. These two words are synonym. If you are workers, then you are employees. If you are employees, you are workers. Okay? So, again, Miss Two is a female, so I say she. Okay? She has, she, schedule every month. Again, every day, every week, every month. That's the present. So what form of to be can you put here? And what form of to have can you put here? So if you say Miss Two is, then you are correct because it's every day. If you say Miss Two has, that is correct. If you are workers or employees, you need to have a schedule. A schedule is on what day, at what time you are going to work. I go to work on Monday at 9 o'clock. I get up at 1 o'clock. On Tuesday, I go to work at 9 o'clock. I get up at 1 o'clock. So that's called the schedule. All workers have a, a, a schedule, even the boss. The boss has a business to run, so the boss has a schedule, okay? So very good. Now, let's look at the I. See right here, I, to be, to have. I am a dentist. What is a dentist? Okay, a dentist is a person who fixes your teeth. When you have a toothache, or when you need to have a root canal and you need to pull up your tooth or your teeth, then you go to a dentist. The dentist will operate on your mouth so you don't have ache. Now, so I am a dentist. So, because it's every year, every year is still every day, every week, every month, every year. So, that is the present. So, I have. I have. Okay? So, remember, duck, huang, hong. These are the names. So, they are nouns. But I is not a noun. I is a pronoun. Okay? I is a pronoun. See? He, she, it, pronoun. I, pronoun. You, we, they. 
The pronoun replaces the noun. John, he. Jennifer, she. Jennifer and John, they. Jennifer and I, we. Jennifer and you, you plural. Okay? The dog, it. A tooth, it. Two teeth, they. Okay? So, let's try here. I blame a doctor. <coughs> if you have a cough, or if you ach, if you are sick, have a cold, then you're going to see a doctor. Okay? A doctor normally works in a hospital or a private clinic. So doctor, a dentist is a doctor. Okay? Um, so dentists have patients. If you are sick, <coughs> you need to see a dentist or a doctor then you become patient, okay? All right, so I blame a doctor. This is every Tuesday. So what form of to be do you put here? So if you put I am, then you are correct. And if you say I was, uh, I'm sorry, I have patients every day, then you are correct, okay? All right, again, um, we have briefly talked about how to use to be, mainly in the present. Present is every day. Now, let's see if I can change this to, um, to the past, okay? If I can change it to the past. Okay, so let's say if I use um, Mr. Bravo and Mr. Tong are people. Okay, so now, I am here, see, look at the sentences. Read the sentences to yourself, okay? Now, I'm using Mr. Bravo. Mr. This is Mr. A man is a Mr. It can be single or married. When it's married, he and she together, so it's become um, married people. So you have Mr. This is a man. This is another man, Mr. So, Mr. can be single or married. So now I have two Mr. Two men. So I have two men. I have two men. Okay, so two men is no longer he. So I have two he. Because I have two he, it's become now what? They. So this is a noun. Mr. is a name, so it's a noun. So, Mr. Tong is another name, that's a noun, so I have two nouns. So, because I have two persons, the plural for person become people. So, people is a plural noun, okay? So, what form of to be and to have can you put here? So, now, see, Mr. Bravo and Mr. Tong, 
Now remember, the word is every day. So every day means they are alive. So at this moment I'm talking, they are alive. That means you can see them. So if you say are, then you are amazingly correct. Mr. Bravo and Mr. Tung are people. Now, they, families, every day. What form of to have can you put in there? If you say they have, then you are absolutely correct. They have families. They have, I'm sorry, they have their families every day. They have their families every day. Okay? So they have their families every day. So they have their families every day. Now, they plan dinner with their families every day last year. So every day is the present, but every day last year. So when we talk about last year, last year we're talking about the past. That's the past. So what is the past for they? They are dinner. What form of should you use have or, or to be? Remember, this is dinner. If you say they were dinner, then it's not. They were not dinner. So if you say they had dinner with their families every day last year, then you are correct because this is the past. Now, they dinner tomorrow. So again, tomorrow, tomorrow is not today, not the past, but it's in the future. So when it's in the future, you have to use this. So we're talking about dinner. We don't want to say they will be dinner. If they will be dinner, somebody will eat them. So we will say they will have. This is the future. Now, so can you find the noun for me? If you say bravo is a noun, that's correct. Tum is a noun, that's correct. People is a noun, that's correct. Families, noun, that's correct. Um, dinner, noun. Um, okay. Last year, noun. Dinner, noun. So these are the nouns. Now, what are the prepositions can you have? Preposition. So let's see. Um, let me give you a chance to look for the preposition. So if you if you say with, then you are correct. With is a preposition. Okay? So let's do one or two more.
Okay, so let's see what form of to be or to have, and can you find the nouns and the preposition for me? So I'm going to give you about three minutes to figure out. So as you are thinking, I'm going to read the, the, the statements and you can repeat after me or read along if you want to. Susanna, Fi and Na, being, being, okay, being, being taught by a teacher now, now, okay, right now at the present time. They, the reason I use they is because of Susanna, Fi and Na. So three people, two or more people become they. They is a subject pronoun. They, a lesson now. So together, they, one lesson, okay? So together they have one lesson, okay? So many people can have one lesson by a teacher, okay? So they, their lessons every day. Remember what we talk about every day? Every day is the present, every day. They, their lessons every day last month. So because it's last month, they may have three lessons, four lessons. So this is last month. Last month is the past. They, their lessons again next month. So next, now is the present. Tomorrow is next. Next is the future. Present, past, future. So next means tomorrow, next means later, next means another time, or in the future, okay? They, very happy next month, next month. So what form of to be? Can you find the nouns? Can you find the prepositions? So, now, for the first one, Susanna, Fi, and Na. So it's plural, so it's three people. Three people is they, so you have being taught. So if you need to use R. If you use R, you are correct, because it's present. At this present moment, they are. Now, they, a lesson now. I have two lines here. So at the present moment, you have to use present continuous or present progressive. This is present continuous, but it's passive voice. Because right now, they are not given a lesson. A lesson is being given by a teacher. So this is passive voice, okay? So this is the present progressive for to be, okay? And this is called the past participle for teach, teach. Okay? So when you use passive voice for present progressive or continuous, you need to be the present progressive for to be the past participle of teach. So Susanna, Fi, and Na are being taught by a teacher now. They, who are they? Susanna, Fi, and Na. They, a lesson now, right now. So they what? They are, they are what? Having, present continuous. They are having a lesson now. Okay, then next. They, their lessons every day. Every day, so this is called present. The symbol present, every day. So uh, remember, their lesson, if you say they are lesson, then it's not good, okay? They have. They have their lessons every day. Now, they, their lessons every day last month. So what is the past of have? So then it's had. They had their lessons every day last month. Now, then they, their lesson again next month. So should you use to be or to have? Because if you say to be, then you're talking about they are things. They are not things, they are people. So here you have to say something they 
possess something belongs to them so they they will have they will they will have because it's the future or you can say they are going to have that's become the future informal or future with to be going to plus the verb okay so again you can say they have they will have or you can say they are going to have they are going to have their lessons again next month they very happy so now happy talk about feelings so when you're talking about feeling you have to use to be to be and this is next month so that's the future so what form of to be can you put here if you say they will be then you are outstanding say again outstanding outstanding means you are great outstanding 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 is the same thing as amazing fantastic terrific great okay so again these are the forms of to be to have now Susanna Fi and Nga these are the nouns these are the nouns teacher is a noun is this a noun? no, it's a pronoun lesson, that's a noun lessons, that's a noun and it's a plural noun okay um, day is a noun every day, every month Lesson is a noun. Month is a noun. Okay. Very good. That's a noun. Okay. Can you find any preposition here? Okay. Every day next next month. So. Okay. So if you have the form of to be and to have, you are very good. Okay, so let me give you another example with, with a clear preposition and see if uh, you understand. Okay, now. So let's focus on you. Okay, so see if you can use to be or to have and see if you can identify the nouns and the prepositions. You, your lessons at your house next year. Remember, next year is when? If you say future, then you are correct. Your lessons, great. Great means outstanding, amazing, terrific. We our lessons every week last month. Every week, but every week last month. We our lessons with a teacher in our school. So, okay, you blank your lesson next year. Can you say will be? You will be your lesson? No. You say you will have. You will have. Okay? future your lesson 
Great. So this is Dylan. You don't say to have or have has. So say will be future because this continuing the conversation. Okay. Now every week last month. So this is the present, past, or future. If you say past, then you are great. So if it's the past, then you say we had. You don't say we were. We had a lesson every week last month. Now, so it's a continue, uh, uh, a continue conversation. So we're talking about right now. So right now we say we are what? Right. We are having. We are having a lesson with our teacher in school. So the now is lessons. How is lesson? It's a now. Lesson is a now. Years are now. Lesson is a now. Week is a now. Month is a now. Lesson is a now. Teacher is a now. School is a now. Now, can you find the prepositions? Okay, so if you say at, that's a preposition. If you say in, that's a preposition. If you say with, that's a preposition. Okay, so again, I just want to review with you on how to use to be, to have, with nouns and prepositions. Okay, so trying to study this form. So when you speak, Try to remember, he, she is present, he, she, it was past, he, she, it will be for the future, he, she, it has present, he, she, it had simple past, future will have, the same thing, I am present, I was past, I will be future, I have present, I had Simple past, I will have simple future. We, you, they are simple present. We, you, they were simple past. You, we, they simple future. You, we, they have simple present. You, we, they had simple past. You, we, they will have simple future. Okay? Um, thank you for watching. Looking forward to see you again. Please subscribe to my video uh, for the next lessons. Okay, have a good day.